Ken from ASI, the White Glove guy, is here to talk to you about fire and carbon monoxide safety. Is your, is your heating equipment broken down this winter? Maybe your furnace broke and you're like, you know, we really can't afford to get it repaired right now, so we're just going to use the gas stove. I want to really caution you. I want to say don't, because here's the thing. Gas, gas stoves aren't vented to the outside. Your heating equipment is. So when your furnace runs, the carbon monoxide gas is vent to the outside, where with a cooking stove, it doesn't. And especially older stoves where they don't burn gas real efficiently, you could wind up with high levels or at the very least low levels of carbon monoxide in your house. Now low levels of carbon monoxide will give you flu-like symptoms, um, really, really dangerous for small children and elderly, small pets, all of them can suffer permanent damage. Now here's the interesting thing. People will sometimes say, well, you know, I keep my window cracked. If carbon monoxide's got a choice, if your body's got a choice to absorb carbon monoxide or oxygen, it chooses carbon monoxide. It's more bioavailable. It's more available to your red blood cells. So if your body's got the choice, it'll take the carbon monoxide. That's why you find people sometimes on the back of boats and things like that will be overcome by carbon monoxide. Talk about a well-vented place the back of a boat. It's not good enough. So don't use your cooking equipment to, to heat your house. If you're using any, you know, you don't want to have your charcoal, your, your grill burning in your garage or anything like that that creates in, heat inside your house unless it's an approved device for that. So thank you. Keep your family safe, okay? And if you have any questions, we're always available and we'll see you next time.